Hi, it's Randall with Carter Hill Honeybees of Northwest Alabama. Today is Sunday, August 22nd, 2021. It's been a little over three weeks since we made these splits. Uh, we're going to go in today and see how they're doing. I had no intention of going this long. Uh, but with the recent rains and stuff we've had, I've just gotten behind. I had all intentions of coming here within the next week and checking these, but I didn't. Obviously, that didn't work out, but today it should be easy. The queen should be settled in. Should should be able to see just cat brood in there pretty easy, so we're going to see. We'll have a good opportunity to see what kind of laying pattern our queen has. Something I don't believe I mentioned in, in a previous video to this when I made them is if you, if you do these splits with nurse bees, it, uh, don't be alarmed. You're probably not going to see much bee flight activity. Uh, for about the first four or five days, maybe a week to ten days, the flight activity will start picking up from that point. With that being said, uh, let's go ahead and start popping these tops and let's see what we got. I would like to point out once you see some flight activity like, uh, well, this one was going pretty good just before I come up. But these two are flying a little bit better, but once you see some entrance activity like that, especially the bringing in pollen, that's a really good sign. You almost don't even have to go in there and look if you see them bringing in good balls of pollen. But I, I feel pretty confident that uh, like those two right there, I'd, I'd be really surprised if, if they don't have a lot of brood. There went one with a nice double uh, bag of pollen. But I'd be really surprised like if those two don't have a good queen going in there right now. I noticed right away how calm the bees are. They're not really aggressive in any way. They're not running around nervous, so that's a good, in, good indication. So I, I can just lightly smoke them just enough to drive them down a little bit. And I can get my little plastic queen cage out of there. I really like those because if this wasn't in here, I'd have to have four frames with the old style and I'd have a big piece of comb to tear out, so I really like those right there. Well, we got a brood pattern is kind of spotty right now. She might have been slow getting started. I was hoping to see a better pattern than that. I did put some pollen supplement on here when I first made these. And nothing but food on that frame. So wow, this is nice. This is a foundation I put in here and they've nearly drawn this out. So the, I'm well pleased with that. Same thing here, kind of a spotty brood pattern, but I do see some younger larvae in there. So we'll compare this with some of the other ones that they may have just consumed their patty pretty quick and they just need some more protein again. There's not very much pollen coming in right now, although there's some. I noticed today, there's the queen right there. So she's looking good. I didn't even realize that, but they actually marked, marked this set of queens. I usually don't get them marked, but that made her pretty easy to see. So once again, right there's the queen. She's looking pretty good. So uh, put the frame back down in here and she's off to the side so I don't have to worry about mashing her. We'll put this back together. And I'll put some more uh, pollen supplement on here and uh, that should help them get going. I really like those bucket feeders or the detent plugs. They're really handy. This is the first time I've used them though. But I may, I started out with four holes. I may need to bump that up to five. 
I'd like for them to take that syrup up a little bit faster than what they are. So let's see what we have here. Well, we've already got a queen cell right there. Let's see if we have any more. They may be going to start to uh, supersede this queen. Well, actually, there's no brood in this one, so. And yeah, there's nothing in that queen cup, so right here's one that didn't take. So I'm going to go through and see what all I have that did and didn't take. But probably what I'll do is just take this newt and sit on top of one of the others and combine them. It'll be just fine. I'll turn my lid upside down. That way I can remember which one didn't take up here in this row. And we got some brood in this one. Kind of a spotty pattern, but it's starting to get going now. This one looks very similar to the first one. There's another queen cup. See what we got in there. Nothing in there. All right, this will be pretty much repetition, so I want to speed things up and go through the rest of these. If I come across something unique or interesting, I'll I'll film it. Otherwise, I'll let you know the results here at the end. All right, I've come across something else to show you. I found a second colony here that didn't take and. Right here's a good indication when you take the lid off. Now I've done look to verify that and there's no brood whatsoever, not many bees left. There's probably four or five small high beetle larvae in there, but after two or three weeks and they're not consuming their protein supplement patty, the bucket's still nearly half full at least of thin sugar syrup. If they're not taking either one of those, that's a good indication you probably don't have a queen in my experience. There's probably a double handful of bees in there, and they've been roaring for a good five minutes. But so that's just something else to to go by. All right, I've come across this four frame nuke that's doing really good. I've wound up with uh, three of these nukes that didn't take, but there's some bees left in them and some resources. So to better utilize this this colony here, I'll combine it with the five frame boxes, and I'll just show you how I'll do that. It's pretty simple. So basically I'm going to take four of these frames out. I'll leave the one that's got the most resources in there. So that has a little bit of honey and some bee bread. I got one I took out of here that's pretty heavy with honey so if I find one in here that's pretty light then I'll set it to the side and put the honey one in there instead. that very first frame is kind of light so I'll put this heavier frame in here pretty decent little brew pattern on this one Right there's a new more carnival and bee just emerged out. And there's one that's very young too. Yeah, this one's growing pretty good. This one's, these two right here together have done better than the others by far. A lot of bees in here.
and that completes the transfer on that one this one's here beside it I'm gonna do the same thing with it Yeah, this nuke's off the races and got a beautiful queen here. She's really swelled out. She's doing a great job. Now these two nukes that I just, just seen me transfer over, over are unique in that I didn't have enough resources here to make these splits so I had to go to another yard and get those and I could tell right away I guess due to the you know the reduced possibility of the drift that these were stronger right off the bat this is probably the best best nuke of the whole group right here Since they're doing so good, I'm going to put one of these other queenless nukes on top of it and let these this colony grow up into this box. And if all goes well, I'll be able to immediately put these in a 10 frame box about the middle of March and go ahead and put three or four mediums on top of it. And all goes well they should produce good honey or a decent amount of honey all right so I finished going through the 25 nuke we got 21 of them that took four of them did not it would have been nice to have a hundred percent but I didn't expect it going in and pretty happy with this uh, what I'm seeing in them consistently in the majority of them except for those two you just saw me transfer over they're, they're quite a bit stronger, but the rest of them I'm seeing a lot of eggs, very little bit of larva and uh, cat brew. So I, I think probably what's happened or what's happening is they need some protein. So I'm going to go ahead and put some pollen supplement on here, check back in about a week, and that'll, that should give them my answer. I should see brood of all ages at that point, hopefully. Now we'll step over here. I've got five. Of these colonies I just outright requeen so let's check those out and see how many of those took well already I'm noticing how calm these bees are so that's a good indication right off the bat hopefully hopefully that's a good sign cat brew Well, we have a pretty decent little pattern. It's not great, but they've ex they clearly accepted that queen. So I think we're just going to need some pollen supplement like like the others do. So there's one. All right, let's get me a frame out here and see how we did. That's outstanding. So clearly they took this queen as well, so there's no need to go any further. That's also a good indication that the other colonies need some protein. There's plenty of resources in here, and uh, the brood pattern looks much better. And right there is my brood, which indicates She's accepted, pretty decent little pattern. Not as good as the last, but there's not as much resources in this one, so we'll get some pollen on this one too. Pollen supplement, that is. The fall flow will be kicking off here in about 
probably two weeks or so. Starting to, I'm starting to see some pollen start to come in now. So that'll help them get built up quite a bit. But. Yeah, I got brood of all ages. There's a pretty good brood pattern down in there. So they took this queen. Well, it looks like she took. Yeah, we got brood on at least two frames here. This is kind of spotty. All right, there we go. Uh, I've completed the evaluation of these 25 newts, so I had 20, 21 of them took, and I combined the remaining bees with some of the others, like you see there, I doubled those up, and in my colonies I requeened, all five of them successfully took, so out of 30 queens, I've got 26 that uh, took, or are part of these splits, so I'm going to go ahead and immediately put on some pollen supplement, which I did at the time of splitting. But there's obviously, from what I'm seeing, there's obviously not enough protein coming in. I believe the bees are cannibalizing the eggs or young larvae just about as fast as the queen is laying them. So I'm going to get some pollen supplement on here and see if we can turn that around and get them ready to take advantage of the fall flow coming up here in two to three weeks. Well, I appreciate you for joining me for this video today, and we'll see you next time.